Hello friends, welcome to Tech Greens. So today in the continuation to our series on Hive interview questions, we'll look at what is map site join and how it is different from the normal join. So guys, let's start in this video. We'll look uh, what exactly is map site join, what are its internals and what is its uh, advantages over the normal join. So before we uh, deep dive into the map site join, let's try to understand uh, what happens exactly when you uh, do any kind of join in the uh, distributed system through Hive. So let's see what all uh, happens internally in the Hive system when you try to do any kind of join. So guys, let's try to understand it from, from this uh, picture. So whenever you submit any task, uh, say you are trying to do a join on say two tables, table A and table B on say and one particular specific key. So when you'll submit it through the hive, uh, there would be mapper stage that will read the table data uh, from both the table A and table B and produces key value pair tuples. As we know, um, mapper phase produces key value tuples and herein the key value tuple would be the key would be your joining key and the corresponding values. And this is how the tuples would be produced uh, from the mapper stage. So there would be different uh, maps running in uh, depending on uh, uh, for each block uh, of data in the underlying HDFS for each block, we would have one mapper. Uh, the concept remains same here as well. So there would be different mappers for different blocks and they will produce this key value pair tuple where in this particular case, when we are doing the join, uh, the key would be your joining key, key values and then your uh, uh, corresponding values. This key value pair tuples would be produced out of the mapping stage. Then it will go to shuffle. Definitely the data which comes out of the mapping is unsorted and then shuffle will do the merging and the sorting and this merge and sorted data will be given to the reducer as an um, input which will perform uh, the join and finishes the task and produces the output. That's how join data would be produced. Let's try to run it from the di diagram. You have initiated a task of join say on table A, table B. There would be mapping stage for each table where the table data is read and key value pair tuples are produced. Here we are talking about the key on which you are doing the join. Then this unsorted data goes to the shuffle uh, phase. Uh, in the shuffle phase, it would be sorted and merged and then it would, it would be sent to the reducer wherein the actual uh, join is uh, completed and the output data is produced. So that is how normal join runs in. So you have both the stages here of mapping uh, map stage and the reduce stage with a shuffle in between. Now let's see uh, what is map site join. So map site join is similar to a join, but all the tasks will be produced will be performed by the mapper alone. So there would not be any reducer stage in map site join. Uh, that is how it is different from the normal join. We just looked at the normal join where you have both the stages mapper stage and shuffle and the reducer stage but in the map side join there would only be mapper so uh, all the task of uh, producing the or performing the join would be done in the mapper itself uh, primarily the map side join uh, suits best where your table uh, or say one of the table in the join is small when we say small it is small from the fact that the entire that data could be stored in the in the memory or in memory of the different nodes in the cluster. Uh, let's try to see it. So there are two ways how you can enable or how you can inform Hive to do the map site join. One is using the hints. For example, if you want to do a join say on uh, two tables order and cities. Uh, so in that case, we are doing select and asterisk star map join C. So that means C is the smaller table here and uh, then we are joining it on city ID from both the tables. So when you will f uh, enter the query like this in Hive with a hint, it understands that it has to perform map join where C is the smaller table needs to be uh, cached across all the nodes in the cluster. Uh, another way to do the uh, map site join in the Hive is there is a configuration uh, which you can set, which is hive.auto.convert.join true in your config hive config file and uh, 
uh, for hive the smaller file means what was the size set for a small table dot file size by default is 25 mb so if you like if you related with the upper query and say your cities you're trying to do a map site join on uh, cities table and if that table size data size is less than 25 mb and you don't give the hint then hive by default will do the map join if this particular property uh, convert or auto dot convert dot join is true so there are two ways where you can inform hive to do the map site join uh, guys let's see the scenario where uh, you know uh, where map site uh, map site join is uh, useful and how does it work so say we are trying to do a, a map site uh, join where we have two tables and one table is comparatively small let's assume it's less than 25 mb so during the execution phase uh, first thing that will happen there would be a map reduce local task uh, that will be created before the actual map reduce task is run and this particular local map reduce task will read the data of the smaller table and store it in the memory as a hash table so it will read the data of of the smaller table and put it into the memory as an hash table and uh, once this uh, hash table is populated in the memory this would be serialized and converted into a hash table file which would be sent to the distributed cache of hadoop so uh, once you have that smaller data into the memory then that memory is converted into an hash table file it's serialized and a file is produced out of it and when the original map reduce task is running now now at this point your uh, map reduce local task is finished once the hash table file is produced then when your uh, original map reduce task will start running it moves the data in the in the hash table file to the hadoop's distributed cache and it finally populates this data into the local memory of each mapper right so all the map mappers can access this data uh, as a local read because it is available in the memory of the mappers nodes so wherever all the mappers are running uh, this process will copy this uh, hash table small data hash table file in the memory of all those nodes so uh, let's try to understand what uh, what exactly will happen when you try to do a map reduce join so you submit a task there would be a, a phase which is map reduce local and the job of this map reduce local task is to read the smaller file convert it into an hash table and serialize it and the file is produced at this point your map reduce local uh, phase is finished then your actual map reduce task original map reduce task will run where uh, in this phase your uh, hash table is read and it is put into the memory of the nodes where mapping is running and then mapper will produce will perform the join between the smaller table and the bigger table based on the join key and the output is produced so you see here there is no uh, stage of reducer uh, because of that as we do not have the reducer stage we do not require shuffling as well so we save a lot of time on shuffling which performs a heavy lifting of sorting and merging and uh, obviously there is no reducer as well everything is performed in the mapper so uh, this gives a lot of advantage in reducing the time of the query if obviously your table one table is small because now that data smaller data is available in the cache itself on the local cache of the mapper so there is no remote lookup there is no overhead of serialization to send data across there is no shuffling uh, that means there is no sorting and merging of the data uh, which is obviously heavy lifting so you uh, so you get a performance uh, increase when you do a map side join right so let's see what are the advantages of it. obviously as we have already discussed uh, there is no shuffle and reduce you save a lot of cost for sorting and merging and obviously time and uh, that's why map site joins uh, finishes uh, in lesser time compared to the normal joins provided i mean there is a there is a prerequisite that one of the tables should be small enough like when we say small that should be able to fit into the into the memory of the nodes where mappers are running 
Um, obviously, one of the disadvantages opposite to this, if uh, your table is or both the tables are big enough that they cannot fit into the memory, then probably map side joins doesn't make sense because in that case it will be spilled onto your disk and there would be input output overheads. So that's a, the the very specific use case for map side joins coming into the picture. Uh, where you're trying to do a join between one or more files and uh, um, you know uh, and one of the files happened to be smaller enough to fit into the memory of the nodes so guys that's it in this particular video have a good day bye bye